How's it going guys? We are back with another Anthem video and today we're going to be talking about the Cataclysm and in particular the challenges. As you're aware, in the Cataclysm when you complete the event, you get a score and that score then turns into shards which you can then turn into crystals. Each cash that you can buy is worth 1100 crystals in order for you to get either a melee, weapon or an ability. On top of this, you have armor sets that you can actually earn by accumulating points and these go up to around 5-6 crystals, which is essentially 6,000 shards, right? So accumulating this just in the Cataclysm could be annoying. However, to fix this problem, and especially for those that don't have many friends playing Anthem right now, they've also added dailies and weeklies and endurances. So these are challenges that will essentially require you to do certain things as you would do normally and then get rewarded. I've been following this for a number of days and the dailies that I've come across always provide around two daily challenges that award you with one crystal and 100 shards, which is essentially enough for one cash. So technically, by just doing your dailies, you will get around two caches a day, that is 14 caches a week. So there is no shortage of caches and I'm really happy that they've gone down this route. The Cataclysm itself is a really cool piece of content, but at the same time accumulating those shards by doing the event and getting the maximum amount of it can be difficult for some. So it's really nice to see that Bioware have also thought about those solo players or have thought about those players that are not as good as other people that haven't had as much exposure to the content like the PTS crew have and I'll be getting to that in a separate video because I think it's really unfair what's going on with the console market but at the same time it's really nice to see that they are catering for those people and providing them with other avenues. However shards and crystals are not the only things you can get from these. By doing your dailies, weeklies and endurances you can also get decals, you can get wraps, you can get emotes. There are certain challenges for defeating the boss within a certain time, which will reward you with an emote. These are really cool things that are missing from the game right now and that are actually coming to the game for this event. There is a lot of content that you can just go in and actually earn by playing the game. And this is fundamentally the way forward. I'm really, really happy that Bioware has listened to the feedback and not left everything in the store, not just hidden things away. The fact that now they are putting this into the game as content is really, really nice. And the fact that they're actually putting armor sets that you can earn by accumulating a set number of crystals is exactly what we should be getting and what they should be doing. So from here, I have to commend Bioware for not just placing everything into a cash shop and just leaving the Cataclysm bare bones with just the weapons, melee abilities and standard abilities. Because honestly, I assume this was going to be the case. It's really not the case. And as you can see on screen, there are a number of challenges here that not only just give you shards and coin, but they also reward you with other cool stuff. And I'm really happy that Bioware is going down this route. So at least it is something that we can now look forward to as an alternate means, as an additional means to earn coin. Of course, if you're in a set group and you know what you're doing and you've positioned yourself in a way you can do the Cataclysm all eight events and maximize your points, then you probably will be in the best position possible because you can walk away with four to eight caches worth of crystals. So there is no shortage of crystals. But again, you will need some experience and that is something you're going to be lacking if you're not in the PTS because right now that's pretty much what everyone is playing in the PTS. That said, I'd like to hear your view. Is this the sort of thing you want to see in the game where you go into the game, complete objectives and earn your rewards rather than accumulating coin and going to the store and just buying it? Because I don't know about you, but to me, that's not earning your reward. For me, going into the game, doing challenges and the reward just appearing there and saying, you've now got this as a prize, that to me is earning it because I've done what is required and it's rewarded me for my action. So if it turns around and tells me I need to go and kill five Bristleback Ursixes, which appear in the instanced Shaper Storms, then I need to go in there, kill five of them and come out. Once I'm out, I'll get my reward. But I've earned that. I didn't go in there just to get coin. I've gone in there and earned my reward. And I think this is the way forward. If I look through the challenges and I see that emote and it tells me to do A, B, C and D, I know that if I go and do A, B, C and D, 
I'm going to get that emote. No matter how long it takes me to do those or how difficult it is, I know that after achieving A, B, C, and D, I will get that emote. And yes, though these are cosmetic and not anything that's going to affect your overall power, I think these are definitely the way forward. And it's a definite welcome to the game. And I just can't wait for these to actually start hitting live servers so we can go in there and start earning these cool rewards. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Are you happy that they're putting rewards in the challenges that we'll be doing as the Cataclysm progresses? Are you happy that we can now finally earn our rewards by playing and not simply going to the store and spending coin and buying them? Does this make you happy? Is this what you want to see more of? Let me know in the comment section below and let's have that discussion. Right freelancers? Until the next video, remain legend.